Okay, so this video here, I'm going to show you how I charge a Nissan Leaf battery. Uh, this is one cell, and inside this cell there's actually four batteries, two series, two parallel. And the cell generally can hold somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 amp hours. I think 66 is when it's new. And uh, this is a used cell, and I really don't know... Uh, yet how much it can hold but what we're gonna do is record how many watts we put into it um, the voltage right now is around uh, 7.6 so I haven't been able to find too much material but what I did found this is this chart here uh, that shows and you have to really divide that by two I should say so um, I want to show you what the cell voltage is right now, what the battery the pack voltage is. So if I connect them both up, we're going to see we're at 7.61. Um, 7.6 divided by 2 is 3.8. And if we go back to this chart, we can kind of see uh, 3.8 is sitting, no give or take, uh, right around... 45 to 50 percent there's no 3.8 there's a 3.85 so if that's the case knowing that this is a 500 watt pack and let's just assume for all intents and purposes it's really 400 watts because um you know it's not brand new and i'm just going with the 80 percent rule that there's 80 percent capacity left instead of 100 percent so if we went with 400 watts um, and we're at the 50% mark, one would think that if we need to get, and I would, I'm would i only going to take these up to about 4.05, which is 90%. So we need to put 40% uh, back into this. So uh, what that means in my mind is, you know, if we let's just say we start out at 400 watts. And if we took it down to 50%, uh, we would be at... 200 watts of power left in there so to get back up to 400 we would need to put 200 watts back in so uh, that gets us to the battery charger and uh, we're gonna use you know this I believe this is a, a constant current uh, battery charger and I have the ability to increase the current with this dial down here so uh, and it uses an old-school analog meter so you can Kind of hard to see what that is but it's 7.6 according to my fluke so what we're going to do is we're going to put 200 watts back in here and the question is is how fast do we push these watts in so if we and I, I guess i should have brought my calculator here but knowing that we're driving uh you know around 7.5 uh, volts uh, it, let's just say we wanted to put 100 watts in there, so we'd take you know 100 divided by 7.5, I believe, which is around 7 amps. So, uh, and we'll get to see that. Uh, I'm gonna try to get it close to 7 amps. So, actually, I guess that's a little higher. My math is probably wrong. So, if I did something like uh, 7 amps times 7 volts, right? That's 49 watts. And and let's just put 49 watts in it to be safe. And that should take about four hours. So 50, 50, 50, and 50 to get back up to 200 watts. So let's just go ahead and turn this on. And what we're going to do is we're going to dial up the um, amperage. So you can see it's starting to increase. So remember what I told you. I wanted to get around seven amps. And what we also have to be careful too is watching the volts, right? Um, the beautiful thing about this old school kind of charger here is that um, the volts aren't going to really increase until the amperage starts flowing into the battery. So uh, I'm trying to do this with one hand, so bear with me. <clears throat> All right, so you can see 7.69, 7.68, and what I'm going to just do is just 
dial back the amperage and just show you what's happening here. So basically, if I cut the amperage all the way out, we're going to go back to where it was, 7.62, 7.61. So as I increase my amperage, and we're going to put that amp back up around, I think we said 7. I wanted to test it at. So we got 7 amps, and notice our voltage climbs up to 7.7. .7. Now, um, it's putting its bulk putting bulk current in there right now. So as it does that, the voltage is naturally going to climb. What we need to be very careful on is that we don't exceed uh, this number right here for 90%, 4.05 times 2. So in reality, when we get to 8, um, we want to be uh, very careful that we don't go over 8 um, volts and remember the the cell can hold 4.1 4.2 uh, in theory it can hold so that's what 8.4 we don't really ever want to exceed but uh, we just want to keep our eye on this and that's why if you're using this kind of method you have to babysit this you can't walk away from it in case if you um, let it on too long you will overcharge the battery and destroy it so uh, what I wanted to show you real quick was the actual amperage uh, from an amp meter now on the meter it says seven amps and this should be fairly close but let's just give it a shot okay so we're actually 6.6 .6 amps that we're putting into the battery so we're running 6.6 .6 amps at 7.71 volts and you do the math on that so if you take 7.71 times 6.6 .6, that'll tell you how many watts we're putting in to the battery so according to to everything what the voltage was before we started this battery should need around 200 watts before it gets up to the 90 percent uh, so and if we're putting in 7.7 uh, .7 times 6.6 .6, whatever it was seven times six is uh, 42 so i believe we're probably in the neighborhood of putting 50 watts in an hour so in reality that should take four hours so uh what i'll do too as well is we'll time it so it's uh a little bit before five o'clock and we'll come back uh, in an hour and we'll see where we sit uh, on the voltmeter so again this is going to steadily climb as that battery capacity fills up Okay, we're at 7.71 now, and uh, again, the number we don't want to exceed really is a little over 8. Okay, so we're almost about through the first hour, and if you take a look, you can see our voltage um, is at 7.94, and our amperage is at 5.9, 6.0, so the amperage is going down, remember I think it was 6.6. Um, and if you multiply those together, you get about 50 watts. So one thing to know is <clears throat> that's not really 7.95 volts uh, inside the battery. That's what it's charging at. So uh, it gets a little uh, complicated and confusing. What I'm gonna do is just turn this down for a second to show you something. Uh, I'm gonna turn the amperage down to nothing and the voltage are gonna drop um, slightly. So notice we're sitting at 7.87 uh, without any amps going into the system. And we'll just, you know, kind of show you that there. <laughs> so you can see there's no amps and I'm clamped around the meter. So there's nothing going to the, into the batteries right now. And that battery is sitting at 7.87 at this moment. So it's really not 7.92 uh, in the battery. So we, this is why we need to be really careful with a battery charger like this, uh, because you still, you know, even though the voltage really is 787, it's not 792, um, you gotta be careful because that current is, you know, you saw it was almost still six amps of current, uh, which is still okay because the battery's not at the uh, voltage that I want it to be. Remember, I want it to be at 4.05, so if we go over here, and we do, you know, uh, 
4.05 times 2. I'm looking for 8.1 uh, to get it 90%. So what I like to do is we get closer to that number, you know, we're at 786, is I like to, at this point, turn down the amperage. Uh, so again, it's going to, this latter part of charging the battery uh, is going to take longer because you got to kind of babysit it. And that's the advantage of buying a automatic charger or, or a constant voltage charger is if you set that voltage to on a constant voltage charger to 8.1 or whatever you want, 8.2, uh, it's going to go to that voltage and not any higher. So you don't risk, uh, to the extent you don't risk messing the battery up with a constant voltage charger. I'm just going to hook these back up. All right, so remember across both, we're sitting at 793. And the ultimate goal there is to get the 4.05. So the answer is um, slow it down, right? It's going to take longer to charge now uh, doing it this way. So I'm going to just turn it down to 4. Turning it down to 4, we're at 796. And remember, we're 4 amps, 8 volts, so we're putting 32 watts in. And uh, I'd feel safe that I can probably walk away from this for you know half an hour to an hour. Uh, and uh, knowing that I'm not going to exceed this particular individual cell. You can see now 3.98, we're in a safe zone. Um, and we can probably let this go, and I will let it go, and I'll come back in around a half an hour and we'll see, see where we're at. But you know, we're an hour and 15 minutes into this, I guess. All right, guys, so I want to show you something that's important to see, and that is um, there's a difference that I found from reading the voltage from here where I was to actually right at the battery, which is definitely different and important. You want to measure it at the battery, not further back, because the further back you go, um, there's it appears to be a higher voltage. Uh, so I also had a cheap meter, uh, which, which actually was a, a off from my fluke. So one needs to be very careful with these when they're dealing with um, you know two digits. So anyway, uh, where are we here? So we're at 7:30, and um, I think we're two and a half hours into the experiment. But uh, so what I found is when I took the voltage right here, I was um, able to get a more accurate reading, so I felt more comfortable uh, pushing this system. So uh, what I mean by that is you know I'm going to put it on this side, and you're going to see that the uh, the voltage coming in is, is very similar on both uh, both sides of this battery. So I have it on this half, and you can see it's at 4.078. And I'm going to flip it over to the other one, and you'll see it's 4.0756. So it's very close. Uh, and remember, I can technically charge up to you know 4.1. So I'm a little under that. And the reason I'm, I'm this high right now is because I, I have this thing pegged out. So I have the amperage, you know, I tested it, I believe I'm at 16 or 17 amps. So let's see here, we got the clamp meter. So you'll see I'm running 16.5 amps through uh, at eight volts. So, uh, you know, 16.5 times eight. So I'm pushing 132 watts through it right now. Uh, this power supply really is, that's probably the max I'm gonna get from a power supply like this. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the difference, you know, so if I come back here and take the reading, you know, where I was before, you'll see I'm at, you know, 4.105. But yet if I come right here, right at the battery, uh, 407. So uh, very important difference. Uh, you know, to get a more accurate reading, do it at the battery um, terminals, I should say, at the terminals right here. So I'm pushing in right now uh, 4.08 on that side and 4.077 on that side. Now again, if I turn this down uh, to, actually let's just do it to show you that I'm in a, in a safe zone. So I'm just gonna, for all intents and purposes, turn the charge off, okay? So the charge is off, the battery will, will settle down a bit, but um, we'll go back to here, 
and we'll go on this one and then we'll go back to read it you can see that I'm really only at 4.04 .04, and it's gonna go down a little bit uh, because I just turned the, uh, the amperage the current off here's the other side 4.038 and 4.039 and then again if I go to the higher spot you'll see the difference so this is where I was kind of plugged in before so you can see 4.035 sorry I'll show you 4.034 and then I'll switch it back up um, 4.033 not getting a good example on this one here of what it was doing before but at the battery it's you know 4.03 and for some reason now this maybe I'll just set it in like I had it before well it's hard to tell because the battery's going down but uh, maybe on this black one would be better 4.03 it's the same now. I, I, I know why it's the same. It's because I'm not putting a current through uh, right now. So, because there's no amperage or current drawn through these, and this is relatively thick copper, you're going to get the same reading whether it's here or here. The difference is, is when I'm pushing current through it, uh, you're going to get a reading. If I were up here, you know, as it comes out of the charger, you're going to get a higher reading. And uh, I don't know if I can show that. Maybe we can show it. I'll turn it back on and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But as you get through the wire and closer to the battery is where the true reading that you want to take is. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do that in a second just to show you what I'm talking about. So right now we're sitting at 0.024 and I'd be willing to bet if I even put it up here we're going to see the same uh, thing or close to it. So 4.02. So again, look how close that is. I'm at the, I'm at the uh, battery charger. 4.022 and then I'm just going to go down here to at the terminal and you'll see it's 4.022 uh, and it's because it's a relatively thick gauge wire I don't know what oh, it's 8 gauge wire uh, and it's connected up here so uh, now when I apply current you're this is where you're going to see the difference so now I'm going to go back up now I know the battery is getting full so I gotta uh, be careful here but I'm going to go back up to the full 16 amps and now here's where I want to show you a difference I'm going to go right at the battery and you're going to see 4056 and I'm going to move it right up to here and look 407 and I'm going to even go right here where I was before and you're it's even going to be higher I'd be willing to bet so look 4.15 so that's kind of the difference uh, when you're charging so you really want to take the measurement at the battery not at the battery charger uh, or you know even it's hard to believe that there's even a difference between here and here